everybody and welcome back to our channel. Today we will be revisiting how to write a number sentence. So let's just go ahead and get started by looking at different word problems. The first example says, there are four students reading. Three students are working on math. How many students are there in all? Remember, if you have seen past videos, you know that first we like to circle what we already know. So, how many students are reading? Four. Good. So, I'm going to circle four students. Now, I want to know how many students are working on math. How many? Three. Very good. So, I will circle three students. I want to know how many students are there in all. And if you've seen my past videos, we have constantly said that in all means to add. Good. Okay, so now we're going to write our parts where they belong in our number sentence. Okay, I have four and three. So I will write four and three. What am I going to do with four and three? I'm going to add. Good, because I want to take part and part and put them together to make the whole. So I have four plus three equals, let's see what four plus three equals. Hold a fist and say four, and we're gonna jump up three. Ready? Four, five, six, seven. Four plus three is seven. Seven is my whole. And it is also called the sum, because sum is the answer to my addition problem. So let's go ahead and take a look at a second example. It says, Jake has seven stickers. Lucy has two stickers. How many stickers do they have in all? Remember, the first step is to circle what I already know. I know that Jake has how many stickers? Seven. Good. So I will circle seven stickers. Lucy has how many stickers? Two, good. So I will circle two stickers. And I want to know how many stickers do they have in all? And in all means to add. Very good. So I will take my two parts, seven and two, and write them down in my number sentence. Seven and two. And I know that I have to add them. Seven plus two equals, right? So I have seven and I jump up two. Seven, eight, nine. Seven plus two is nine. Nine is my whole, and it is also called the sum. Okay, so on to the next example. It says, Rick has five toys. His mom bought him one more toy. How many toys does he have now? So first, before we look into anything else, let's circle what we already know. I know that Rick started off with how many toys? Five. Good. And you know what? I'm actually going to go ahead and write that part down already. Five. His mom bought him one more toy. How many? One more. Okay. So I want to know how many toys does he have now? And if you notice, my question does not have the words in all. We know that in all means to add. But how do I know what to do here? So, this is where I have to really think about real world problems, okay? I have five toys and I bought another one. Am I adding that toy or subtracting it? If I have five and we get from the store one more, do I add that one to the five or did I take away from the five? I added. Very good. I started with five plus one more equals six. Good. 
because I have five, I jump up one, and that's six. Five, six. Very good. Now, if the problem were to say his mom took one away, then I would know that I have to subtract because he had five and we took one away. Okay, that is subtraction. But here he had five and one was added from the store, right? Very good. This problem says, Julie collected four apples. Sam collected six apples. How many total apples do they have? Remember, the first thing we want to do, circle what we already know. So, I know that Julie collected how many apples? Four. Good. Let's circle four apples. Sam collected how many? Six. Very good. I want to know how many total apples do they have. Again, I don't see the words in all. So let's go back and look at our question. How many total apples do they have? There is a clue word in here that helps us to know that I have to add part and part to get my whole, okay? Who knows what that word is? If you said total, you are correct. Total is another word that means to add. So I have four apples and I have six apples and I bring them together to find my whole. That is to find my total, okay? So let's take four and six and add them up. Four plus six equals, I have four and I'm going to jump up six, ready? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. I have 10 total apples, okay? 10 is the sum of 4 plus 6. Okay, guys, so that ends today's lesson on writing number sentences with word problems. I really hope that you found this video useful. Please make sure to like it, and don't forget to subscribe for more learning videos. Bye, guys!